Hey everyone, Pastor Stan again, bringing you another message from the Word of God, the Bible. Today we're going to talk about a subject that many people have asked questions about, and many people wonder about today, and, and that is, if God loves me, then why doesn't he answer my prayers? If God loves me, then why doesn't he answer my prayers? Our scripture lesson is going to be from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 1 through 4. Deuteronomy 8, 1 through 4. Hear the word of the Lord. Be careful to obey all the commands I am giving you today. Then you will live and multiply, and you will enter and occupy the land the Lord swore to give to your ancestors. Remember how the Lord your God led you through the wilderness for these 40 years, humbling you and testing you to prove your character, to find out, whether or not you would obey his commands. Yes, he humbled you by letting you go hungry and then feeding you with manna, a food previously unknown to you and your ancestors. He did it to teach you that people do not live by bread alone. Rather, we live by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. For all these 40 years, your clothes didn't wear out and your feet didn't blister or swell. May the Lord add his blessing to the reading of his word. My friends, the Lord can do anything he wants. He really can. If I, if I see God as God really is, he is so huge, creating everything that exists, keeping it all together to this very moment. And as God can do anything God wants to, he is all-powerful, all-knowing, all-seeing, and he loves his children, and he takes care of us. Not big on spoiling us, though, I've noticed. Although sometimes the blessing can be like a glass of cold water in the summer. The Lord can do anything he wants to, and he has a purpose behind every action. Every action. He doesn't, doesn't do things just willy-nilly. But every action he has a purpose for. And this is clearly seen in his words to Israel after they wandered around in the desert for 40 years and were ready to enter the promised land. Our Father in heaven is the same as he was, has always been. As it is written in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changes, so Jesus never changes. Part of the problem we face is that humans don't change either. <laughs> That's right. God never changes, but part of our problem is uh, we don't change either. We are born with a sinful nature, and we're in need of God's forgiveness from day one. So when I read scriptures like Deuteronomy 8.2, remember how the Lord let your God led you through the wilderness for these 40 years, humbling you and testing you to prove your character, to find out whether or not you would obey his commands. I am a bit provoked, my friends, I must admit. My immaturity immediately becomes apparent, and I'm tempted to judge God by my own standard rather than accepting him as he is. I think thoughts like, well, if God really loved me, then... The, Lord's purposely, the Lord purposely let his people go hungry so he could test them and test their character to see if they would obey him. But they rebelled against him, and then he would punish them, and the cycle would immediately repeat itself. Today we are tested likewise. It is quite frustrating to be hungry, sick, incarcerated, without a job, homeless, the victim of domestic violence, a part of organized religion, and be praying for the Lord's help, but not to, but to not see any answers to my prayers. That is at least the way I wanted my prayers answered. Sad truth is, I couldn't handle the Lord answering all my prayers. 
I couldn't handle it. The temptations would simply be too great. I just couldn't do it. The Lord would simply become a tool for which I would receive wealth, the death of my enemies, and finally living forever. I'd just go ahead and not die. The Lord loves me too much to allow that to happen. Praise be to his name. Instead, the Lord lets me suffer to test my character, to see if I will actually obey him. Moses writes, Deuteronomy 11, 22, Show love to the Lord your God by walking in his ways and holding tightly to him. Show love. Love God. Love God by obeying him and holding tightly to him. No other gods, no other gods, him alone. Now Jesus later would say in John 14, 23, All who love me will do what I say. My Father will love them, and we will come and make our home with each of them. Anyone who doesn't love me will not obey me. And remember, my words are not my own. What I am telling you is from the Father who sent me. Many people turn away from the Lord when prayers are not answered. Others turn God into an idol. In other words, the, the way they want him to be. But the only living God is not an idol. He is unique and will not share his glory with anything else. Does God answer prayer? Definitely he does. Does God love us? God does love us. And I go through the trials and tribulations to see how much I love God. Jesus taught about prayer a lot, and his command to his disciples then is the same today. In, in regard to all of these challenges we face, all of these prayers I pray and they're not answered the way that I wanted them answered, Jesus says they should always pray. He taught his disciples they should always pray and never give up. Always pray and never give up because the more I pray, the closer I come to God, the closer I can walk with him until I can hear his voice and his guidance and his life are within me. Every day the Lord shows me what I need to do and how to do it. And if I don't get discouraged and quit, which is a human tendency since we seem to love to be in rebellion, then I will see the glory of God. I will see the glory of God. And so God does answer our prayers, my friends. He answers them in a way that's best for us. And that can be tough to accept. That can be tough to accept. He, he made children of Israel go hungry in the wilderness so he could teach them that people don't live by bread alone. But by, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And so if I listen to his word, if I study his word, if I try to do what is right, if I obey him, hold tightly to him, if I love him, I can see how the Lord's answers to prayers happen in my life. They just happen according to the way that God wants them to happen. That's why Jesus says we should always pray and never give up. Don't give up. Keep praying. Walk with the Lord and hold tightly to him. Well, what have we learned today, preacher? Number one, the Lord tests my character to see if I will obey him. Number two, God has a purpose behind everything he does. That's right. The world is not meant to be in confusion for the followers of Jesus. God has a purpose behind every action. And he has a plan for our lives, too. Number three, Jesus says we should always pray and never give up. Well, let us pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thank you for sending Jesus from heaven to die on the cross for my sins. Help me love you 
by obeying your commandments and hold tightly to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Well, it's been good to be with you on the Pastor Dan YouTube channel. As always, like and subscribe. If you know someone who's dealing with this very thing, keep praying, but God's not answering my prayers. Perhaps we can get the word out that God is, in fact, answering their prayers, just not in the way that they want him to. But if I hold fast to the Lord, then the answers to prayer will be for my own good, and not for me to get myself in trouble. All right, see you next time. Love you all. God loves you. So do I.